I think one of the biggest challenges facing the sector in how we prove impact is, is the fact that there's no clear and readily agreed definition of impact. Um, but also impact is really heavily nuanced and it takes a long time to prove. I think these challenges exist because the sector has been wedded to a definition of impact and has been a function of academic promotion and academic tenure. But there are not the structural incentives for people to actually change yet. So the behaviours are lagging because the incentives for them are still, are still about career trajectory. I think we're faced with a number of huge legacy issues here. Over many decades, research has increasingly been evaluated on publication outputs, particularly journal outputs and the impact factor, rather than ultimately what demonstrable benefit does that research have in the real world. That's the real impact we need to focus on. So we launched our Manifesto for Change in 2018 and this was about really challenging the sector to think differently about impact and one big piece for us is uh, development of a services for research portfolio. The first service that we are launching to market is, is an impact literacy resource and that is really designed to help the sector with impact literacy and increase capability and capacity within institutions. Emerald signed DORA because we genuinely believe that whilst the impact factor can be one measure of, of journal or article quality, it's not the only measure. And as a social science publisher, we've all, always been aware of the fact that, that research impact is heavily nuanced um, and needs to be measured. I mean, when I talk to researchers, their motivation is to make a difference in the world. No matter how small that difference is, um, their motivation isn't to have necessarily a high H index or a high impact factor. That's not what ultimately drives their, their behaviours. So the ecosystem is complex. It's going to take all of the actors to work together on this, but I think there are mobilisations of change. Things are starting to move forward. Funders and policy makers are looking for a return on their research investment and progressive publishers and many of the researchers themselves want to do things differently.